Okay, what is up everyone today we're back again with a, another guide video and today as you can see we are going to be talking about the wild yaks here on Sundar Bataan. and honestly these were probably one of my favorite animals or are still one of my favorite animals on this map for sure and I loved hunting these and I feel ready to kind of make a guide for them now um, to kind of show you guys where you can find them if you're having challenges with them and if you want to set up a grind just like I did to get yourself a nice rare or a good diamond now i should say from the beginning these guys can make it at eight and they love to troll so do not be disappointed if uh you have a nine that doesn't make diamond or you are surprised that you suddenly get an eight that can make diamond but with that being said um we're gonna get to locations in just a second i kind of just want to give you guys some tips on where i would if you are having some challenges on where you should aim on these guys first of all they are a class 9 they go up from level 1 all the way to level 9 females generally I don't think I've seen anything above level 3 for females they might be possible and males the lowest I have seen them go personally is down to level 5 um, but I am sh pretty sure that I heard somebody say that they have seen a 4 before but in general you'll see them kind of in the 6, 7, 8 range on your map that the majority as you can see here we have a lot of sixes a lot of sevens and two eights or three eights here some of them already ran off but in terms of aiming on these guys if you're looking at them from a broadside angle just like this i would aim right around that area on the side there if you want to try and get like the instant drop shot aim kind of up there where the spine and the lung will meet just because if you had spine and double lung they will instantly fall over if you have kind of a forward facing angle like this guy i would wait until they turn their head sideways or up and then just try and aim for like that center cavity there let me see if i can find another one like this guy right here i'd aim right there right under where his nose would have been at that point this one i would aim right there beside the shoulder besides the neck obviously you'd want to use something like the 7 mil the 338 the 300 I personally like the 300 just because it allows me to take more shots and when I was doing my grind I'd try and shoot three or four of them at the same time or in the same zone. Now these guys will go aggressive um, but they don't do that much damage to you overall so you will be quite good from uh, avoiding them. But with that being said let me actually take a shot at one of these guys to uh, really show how I would aim on them. Let's preferably do it on an, like an 8 here. So let's take him. He's a little bit quartering at us. But once he stops, I think we'll be just fine to take him. There we go. And I'm going to try and see if I can't do the drop shot. There we go. That should be vital organs. And that definitely dropped him on the spot. So uh, let's go see what we're going to get from him. So in terms of shot, okay, we just double lunged him right at the top there. I guess we got a little lucky that he dropped there, but in terms of uh, the score rating, Diamond is going to be a 273.23, a Gold is going to be a 230.96, and a Silver is a 174.6. Now, their true score is rated on all of these uh, factors right here, and it's a little hard to judge them sometimes, but I found generally the wider ones that tend to go out more are generally more likely to score Diamonds than the tall and tight racks. Um, but that is more kind of what I personally have noticed with them and you might find some uh, Variation there just because again true racks Can be kind of themselves, but the trend is generally wider and taller is generally more likely to be diamond than the narrow and tall racks or horns I guess I should say on these uh, Wild yaks now obviously a lot of you guys came here just to kind of know the locations of where they are and I will post a picture where I have it highlighted um, over the screen as well. But generally, you want to go in this northern Himal region. Um, and they won't go below this at all. They don't even go to some of the lakes in the bottom of the Himal region. Like, I don't think they go to this lake. I haven't seen any there for me personally on my map. I haven't seen any come to this lake over here either. But one lake that I will tell you guys that is absolutely incredible, at least on my map, is this one in the top far right corner right here. Absolutely incredible. Another great lake is obviously the one that we were just at. I have a bunch of wild yaks here. And with the new render distance thing, we can place tents right on the zone, as you can see. We're not even 60 meters away from where most of these yaks are sitting, and sometimes they're even closer. So 
yeah, it is quite easy to set up some of the maps. Now, in terms of when they drink, they will be drinking from 8 to 12 in the morning. But if you cannot be around their area of where they're drinking, you are going on multiplayer to search for them. What I would generally just do is I would recommend look in areas around the, the lake or the river or follow kind of these ridges over here. And you'll find a lot of yaks just kind of hanging out in this area. And a lot of them just feeding or resting in these areas and they're generally pretty easy to find when you start looking for them and they do give you quite a few warning calls obviously with the new flea calling feature as well that was introduced last year you're gonna have a little bit of an easier time finding them they're quite easy to chase they're not very quick animals so you could definitely follow up with them if you want to run behind them because you will definitely be able to do that similarly how you do it with plains bisons or euro bisons if you've ever done that in the past now, one thing I will notice or mention about this is you sometimes won't see the drink zone icon on your map. Now, if you've deleted it and you know you've deleted it with hunting pressure, it is not going to be there most likely. But for example, with this lake over here, this uh, these zones sometimes disappear and you rediscover them. No, you're not rediscovering a new zone. It is just um, that the zone sometimes will disappear off of your map for the yak specifically. What I have noticed, maybe in the future when you're watching this, this is no longer the case, but currently um, as of July 2024, that is currently a little bug that is going on, but don't worry, the animals are still there as long as you haven't deleted the zone or it wasn't just a solo zone or a solo male sitting around. Regardless though, these lakes are quite spread apart, so generally they'll come back, maybe not to that exact spot, but maybe in my next zone, if I was to leave, delete that zone, they might come over here, they might go up there. It just kind of depends, but they'll generally stick around a close area if you do delete them. So just go look around and I'm sure you'll find another one. But with that being said, I hope this video helped. I hope you guys got a good idea of how to find the wild yaks, where to find the wild yaks, and the get a better understanding of, uh, of hunting these guys. If you have any further questions or if you need any other help with the yaks, just put a comment down below. I'll do my best to try and help you out there. But with that being said, if you guys enjoyed, please do leave a like if you haven't already. Subscribe. Bye-bye. And peace.